The new Zoom capability on your Echo Shows is incredibly powerful, but as always, the devil's in the details. The Echo Show 8 is the only smart display right now working with Zoom. Plus, you need to set your language as English United States, you need to be in North America, and then you're good to go. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by showing you everything with your Echo Shows, your Echo devices and Miss A in general. Now on the note of that video calling situation, you know Zoom, once you say open Zoom to Miss A, you're able to get this page up and that page allows you to do a number of things including signing in to a Zoom account that you already have but you can also start a test meeting or join a meeting that's already in progress and you can use the whiteboard which I use to send you a little message. But maybe the best use case yet is the ability to attach a calendar to Miss A and then just ask to join my meeting. Now that's actually the command you'll use but there's some restrictions or requirements around this. So you can attach that Google Calendar or the Microsoft Calendar or the Apple Calendar to your Miss A account and those invitations actually have to be the official ones coming from Zoom but once you do that once you have all that information in the invitation then when you ask to join your meeting you'll go straight in join my meeting do you want to join the meeting test meeting yes okay The other video calling option is direct on these displays. The most interesting thing that I found with this is that you can create groups of contacts and then use those as your video calling option. So the thing you'll find out with that though is as soon as you add people to a group inside of the Miss A application, they're gonna come back and ask, what are you doing to me and what does this all mean? After you're done talking with your family and friends over the holidays here, I think just like me you're probably ready to look at something a little bit better and a little more fun and that is now available on the Echo Shows with Netflix so you can actually ask to open Netflix now and you will get the full login screen. Now that's a direct interface into Netflix at that point and you're able to stream. Now I do think that at some point we'll see Netflix show up in the application and I actually don't know if this was just because of me being in Canada versus the US but that was my method for getting to Netflix. I'd be interested to see or hear if any of you have Netflix in the list of media services available to you if you're in any country really. I've got two big red balls in my hand and actually when you go and you buy these Echo Red devices they're a limited premium edition of the Echoes that really just are red but Amazon goes and donates ten dollars to a really long named fund and you're doing a little bit of charity work at that point. Now I went I took these and I replaced my set of Echo second generation and got a serious improvement on my Fire TV home theater situation. And the last time I talked about those Fire TVs, well, we had new routines options for them and that was a really great addition, but now we're seeing the brand new interface start to roll out on the new Fire Sticks and that's where you're going to see it. The ones they released, the light version and the brand new 2020 Full HD version of those Fire Sticks. Now the first thing I'm noticing with this brand new interface is it's taking a lot to run. This is a heavier visual interface with more in it. It's really heavy on providing you options to watch and I really love the new search capability which allows you to break things down and filter things really quickly by what you might want to watch and I right away use the free to play option and that brings up everything that I have available to me right off the bat. The new profiles capability is really powerful and of course this allows me as a parent to 
I'll lock things down, make sure my child is staying within the confines of what I want them to. Now, that's up to a point, you know, as they go into applications like Netflix or Disney Plus, whatever you provide them access to, well, they could go into different pieces of content within there if they're in those apps. The quick bar for apps is really impressive and I like where this is headed because as you scroll along, it brings up different viewing options or different things that you might wanna see based on that application. Now, it didn't work for me on Netflix, but that might be because I had a beta version and it's also just the start of this brand new interface. So it remains to be seen just how powerful this gets, but I'm liking the start. And speaking of those new Fire TV, TV sticks well we got some new devices from Amazon in general and the echo frames which I went out and bought right away to showcase to you guys you know what sadly those are pretty much done for or they're not as good as the brand new version now the good news for those of you that went out and purchased one of those you can get an upgrade right now for $70 just to get those new echo frames now for those of you who don't have a fire TV stick or you're looking to control an AC unit or something that you have in a room with an Echo Flex, well, there's actually an option. Now, Andrew had sent me this option on Twitter. He kind of showed me that. And sadly, in the UK where he is, there's no stock. And in the US, there doesn't seem to be any stock, but I got one here in Canada. Now, this is an attachment that goes into the Echo Flex, which still is one of the most interesting Amazon Echo devices out there because of these accessories. So this is definitely something to look forward to. I'm going to review the device fully over on our tutorials page. Make sure you can get that set up and see what it works with. I have been holding off on changing the batteries on my Wise Lock just to see how far I can push this thing because it actually says like 0% battery at this point. I think it's supposed to be dead, but it's been saying that for weeks. Now, what's interesting about this situation is because I think I've left it so long, Amazon actually created a notification and we've seen this get further and further in or, or deeper for our smart homes but Amazon actually told me to go buy some batteries that would fit that wise lock so this is really interesting smart home integration and they were right I should have bought new batteries but I'm gonna wait and that's one of the simpler ways that Amazon is updating their voice assistant to make it better and better at predicting what you need now that's a, a fairly simple way you know it's wise lock low on batteries it's connected to us therefore tell him to go buy some batteries that's kind of simple but they've become better and better at predicting your goal and they're starting to implement some of this with your voice assistant. So the idea is that when you ask a general question, and the great example that Amazon gave was, if you ask to how long it's gonna take for you to steep some tea, well, you might just get an answer normally back of, well, it takes three minutes to do that. But now the idea is they tell you that information and then Miss A will ask you, if you want a timer set for that same three minutes. And not only is Miss A getting smarter at predicting things, but she's also getting smarter in terms of translating and in terms of other languages. And this is one of the major things that the international com community outside of North America has really struggled with with Amazon's voice assistant. And the first option or the first new feature to tell you about is the live translation mode. Now, you have to specifically request this, especially on an Echo Show, this is fantastic because you'll actually be able to say something and it will be translated. Now, if it, you want it in the other language, you're gonna have to do the reverse. And if you're in the US, Europe, or Japan, well, now you can also set a second language to just speak with your voice assistant. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I was filming. Well, uh, that's actually a great example here of one of the new features. Now, I'm loving how much the new routines are changing and how many more triggers we're getting because it's allowing our smart homes to become a lot smarter. And I was just snoring away there and that's actually one of the triggers that you'll get with the new sound detection trigger. Now, this is only available in the US and it's a slow rollout on this one. We're also seeing coughing as an available choice and a baby cry. 
trying sound detection options. So these would be examples of Miss A being able to hear what's going on in a room and notify or take other actions. It wasn't too long ago that we gave away 10 flick packs here and this, these are the smart buttons that you've seen on the channel a few times. They're fantastic little buttons. Now what I was able to show you was Apple HomeKit integration and I was able to talk a little bit about Miss A integration. Well a lot of you have asked when is that coming because I think this is going to be a big trigger for lots of those routines and actually I have to tell you that I was denied access to the beta program but there's good news for around that because actually I was denied because the beta is over and now we're just waiting for it to show up so this should be very soon you're going to have flick integration to trigger a ton with Miss A. Last time on these updates we were talking about a second generation of the Echo Buds coming very soon and with that actually comes a new capability and you guys are well at least about a thousand of you saw my review of the Echo Buds and you saw me working out with them well that's one of the biggest things I like to do with them because they actually stay in my ears well there's a a new start my workout command that allows you to actually get some basic data out of your echo buds it becomes a bit of a fitness tracker at that point I think that most of us grew up believing that at some point we would become a hero and you know you think about the occupations like that I want to be a policeman or I want to be a firefighter and that comes from a really pure place and so I actually got to unbox and set up this toy it's a toy fire truck now this toy fire truck is really interesting and I know we're, not, we're after Christmas at this point but this is really interesting because you can actually put an echo glow in the front and that kind of becomes like the light at the front of a fire truck and you can put an echo dot kids edition in the back it's a third generation and then you can go ahead and use a skill that comes with this purchase that allows you to start the engine or talk to dispatch or do a number of things so this is a really really fun kids toy now there's also a charity component to that purchase as well and I love that fact now I unboxed set it up and I even showed you how you could use one of the newer fourth generation devices with that you can actually stick it in the front where the echo glow is or I have another place and there are battery pack options that you have to kind of figure out yourself but this is a really great present and my kid has absolutely enjoyed this thing now now, one thing about your old Echo Dots around this, I bet you've got one in your home and this is something that I've never talked about on the channel but I think is super powerful now from Amazon. You can take any Echo, any Echo Dot, any Echo Show and turn it into that kids mode. So just basically turn it into a kids friendly device that has curated content that you can manage everything that's available on that and it becomes a really great kids device so even with that fire truck you have an old echo dot third generation it doesn't have to be the kids edition it can be any of them and the same holds true for the echo dot fourth generation it's a really fantastic way to turn older technology that you're not using anymore into a kids edition and to start your kids using this stuff i'm gonna loosely use that skill on the fire truck to transition to talk talking about a skill from Domino's in the US and I love this idea because pizza and me are best friends and so honestly from Domino's there's a skill that is connectable basically to your ordering process and then you can get live updates from Miss A on just where your pizza is. As I set up lots of the new Echo devices that I've brought into my home recently one of the questions on those setups were do I want to enable Amazon Sidewalk and if you haven't set up anything then you might not have had this question but Amazon Sidewalk is now turned on with many of your devices. Now if you don't know what Amazon Sidewalk is it's a way to extend your network out and to help your neighbors a little bit but it's not just to help your neighbors it's to help you get things from outside of your own home as well and in your neighborhood. But many people don't like the idea of Amazon turning on something and so if you want to turn it off there is a setting actually to turn that off now and I'm showing that up on screen so you can go ahead turn off Amazon sidewalk and not be so neighborly 
One of the most requested features, period, across the industry is, can I get my video cameras to show up automatically on my smart display and with the new customized actions in the routines capability you can actually make that happen now there's a video that's up on screen right now it shows you exactly how to do this guys so go check that out otherwise thanks for watching today and of course don't hate automate